The Matrix Revolutions, where everything comes full circle. The final chapter in this entertaining saga. Or is it? That's a review saved for another time. It takes place after the events of Matrix Reloaded to the point where it feels like the same film split into two different chapters. I'm not saying it was that, it just kind of feels like it. that's how it was. Like Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. On with the review. City of Zion is in danger as the Sentinels are coming down to destroy Zion. And it's up to people of Zion with their heavy machinery that looks almost similar to the machinery in Avatar. Or maybe that's where Avatar got some of their inspiration from. I don't know. Um, to help with to help save the people of Zion and uh, prevent the war. But Neo, play always played by the joyful Keanu Reeves, makes a choice to go to the the world of the machines and hoping to convince them to end this. And they all say he's nuts because nobody's ever tried that. But Neo's like, I have to try. And so he and Trinity go off on that journey. Meanwhile, Agent Smith, played by Hugo Weaving, has grown more powerful in the world of the Matrix so, beyond, so far beyond control. How will this all play out? Well, I'm sure a lot of you have already seen the movie. But in case you haven't, I'm not going to spoil it for you. I gotta say, this was a good film. Is it, in, is it in, by any means a perfect film? No. It has a few errors and spots, but... But I'm saying... But those... I overlook those errors, because I really enjoyed this movie. It really tackles the, the feeling of sacrifice and how the people band together during Z the time of Zion's troubles and they got a... and Neo having to make the ultimate sacrifice for the greater good. And they all do pretty well. Now, Mary Alice has the Oracle, who is replacing Gl Gloria Foster, the original Oracle, because she died before she could shoot her scenes in Matrix Revolution, so... They pulled the Doctor Who on us, had her chain, alter her look. She doesn't go in deep explanation why, but it's a good enough explanation. And you instantly buy it. I think Mary Alice's performance as the Oracle is really well done. And she doesn't try to do a copy of a Gloria Foster's performance. She tries to play it in her own unique way. Like I said, kind of like a Doctor Who-like feel. And everybody else does a pretty good job, too. I mean, Keanu Reeves is good as Neo. He doesn't, he doesn't go too far with his acting, but he doesn't overact, which I think is pretty good. And Hugo Weaving is good as Smith. He's not in it much, but when he is in it, he's got quite a presence. You kind of enjoy it. You can't help but watch. Now the other cast. Uh, Jada Pickett-Smith as Niobe really gets more to shine in this. She really shows she's quite a good pilot and and she's a fearsome warrior. <laughs> and I think she really comes through also. <laughs> and I really like her and Lawrence Fishburne's chemistry. You, you just kind of feel there's really something between them. Like I said in The Matrix Reloaded, you, they just really, you just really enjoy seeing them together in the scenes they're in. I mean, and I think, I think her and Lawrence Fishburne do a good job. Um, I really like, and Lawrence Fishburne as uh, Morpheus 
really showing he's not willing to throw back his beliefs, even though people say, some people of Zion say he should quit on, on the faith of the one, but, and I like the way um, Morpheus doesn't hold back. I mean, Nor Morpheus goes for his beliefs and, and he doesn't let nobody change his mind. He's like, you're not going to change my mind. I'm not going to try to change yours, but you're not going to change my mind of this, what I'm feeling here. And Lawrence Fishburne does a pretty good job at portraying that ver portraying that persona. And now for the other cast, um, Carrie Ann Moss was is pretty good as uh, Trinity. Again, I mean, when is she not good as Trinity? She's tough, but even she has her vulnerability too, as she showed in Matrix Reloaded and. And she shows it here, too. I like the way she and Morpheus, when Neo is in the train station, shows you between, it's like between life and death sort of feel, like in Purgatory, what what they won't go through to rescue them. And they just show, I like the loyalty they show for, for Neo. They, sh they show you they're just a family banding together, and they play it quite well. And I like other characters that I we see briefly in Matrix Reloaded. They get their chance to shine too, like the kid. <laughs> Forgive me, I don't know his name. And I remember seeing his story in the Animatrix, how Neo got him free, helped free him. He's just a guy who worships Neo, and uh, he doesn't really do much in the first in Matrix Reloaded, but he really does more here. It shows you his, he has a good arc in this film, in this film. Wanting to do his part, he doesn't want to just sit back and do nothing. And I like the way the captain doesn't like the idea that he's so young. And he says, machines don't care how old I am, they'll just kill me just the same. You're right. And I like when he says, but you, if you mess up, me and the machines are going to have a, something in common. <laughs> and he... Just shows his loyalty and he shows he's as he learns from Neo on how to be brave. <laughs> the two, I gotta say, the special effects were good, also, unlike Reloaded, they didn't overuse the CGI effects. I mean, like in the first film, they used it only when it was needed. I mean, Matrix Reloaded overused this, overused the effects of CGI, I mean, but this film doesn't do that. Most of the time, the effects are pretty practical. Even the scenes with the Sentinels are uh, are well shot. They don't look phony for a second. And not to mention the last the fight scene between Neo and Agent Smith is also well done. And to the point where I said this, where I got to say this. Now I can see where Man of Steel got loose, got inspired for their fight with Zod, Superman and Zod was inspired off this. <laughs> it, not quite, they didn't quite copy, but it's close to it. And so forth, and it's a pretty good ending, or was it? But that's another review saved for later. I like Matrix Revolutions. It, it's a good action film, but it doesn't really just try to focus on the action. It just tries to focus on faith and... Um, what it truly means to be a hero and the stuff a hero has to go through to save others. And he and I gotta say it's portrayed quite perfectly in this film. So I give the Matrix Revolutions a nine out of ten. Good night.